things. Um, number one, 14,000 hours of security footage. I love Tucker Carlson, but I really don't think it should be all his. They should put that on a website right away for everybody. If you crowdsource that stuff in three hours, we'll have all the good stuff. You got a million people looking at it. It's better than Tucker's 20 talented producers. Can you help with that? Because it's outrageous, quite frankly. And number two, if you can talk about DirecTV, because we appreciate your support. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here. And Marge the Trainwreck Green is taking center stage, interjecting herself in the distribution of over 14,000 hours of security footage destined to go to Fox's Tucker Carlson. On a recent Newsmax episode of Greg Kelly Reports, the host asked Marge if she could do something about dividing the footage among all of the needy right-wing reporters who don't think it's fair that one guy has all the good stuff. That's something I've been talking with the speaker's office about is that making the video footage available to everyone. I think it's you've talked about it a lot, Greg, and I really appreciate it. Um, Newsmax has done tremendous coverage on January 6th and everything after that. So I've, I'm in talks with the, with the speaker's office and they are working on a way to make that happen. And I think you should be able to show it on your show as well. It's absolutely ironic that these pea-brained numbskulls are advocating for a socialist solution to their moronic notions. They are trying to gaslight everyone into believing that Tucker is eating steak while everyone else is eating hamburger. The low-level jackaloons want to be higher on the food chain, and who is going to negotiate their concerns? Marge the train wreck grain. Looking like the Kool-Aid mom ready to hand out afternoon snacks, Marge sat and smiled and told the viewers that she was in conversations with the speaker's office to have the security footage released publicly. As a reminder, Marge is on the Homeland Security Committee, so why would she be advocating for the release of sensitive security information to the public? That makes absolutely no sense. It's irresponsible and reckless to be precise. However, if this footage is released, maybe the FBI will get more tips on the whereabouts of the DC backpack bomber. Remember those images? We'd all love to see that jackaloon locked up. Now, as far as Newsmax being uh, very unfairly treated uh, under a so-called contract dispute um, with DirecTV, I think it's completely wrong. And I think we know why Newsmax was singled out for a so-called contract dispute and kicked off is because you are conservative. We know what the outcome could be, and that will, that will be that it will affect elections in the future when we don't have wonderful conservative voices like yours, like your network, um, being broadcasted into millions and millions of homes across America. So what does Kevin McCarthy's clown show have to gain by giving this footage to loons like Tucker Carlson? It's that they become the mouthpiece of the snake. If McCarthy and his goons control the media, then they have a better chance of perpetuating their grift to the gullible audience that they they are presenting to. The security of members of Congress is at stake here. Knowledge of safe shelter areas and secure entrances and exits are not prizes to be divided up to crackpot reporters. If this information is revealed, it could jeopardize the safety of everyone who works in the Capitol. Marge is not qualified to be handling such matters. She is an embarrassment, and this situation should be getting a lot more attention. Insurrectionists should not be in Congress, and Marge is the poster child for everything that's wrong with her party. Marge, in charge of 14,000 hours of security footage, has disaster written all over it. You can't put that Neanderthal in charge of that many crayons all at once, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.